Hello, welcome to another episode of Nameless CDH Gameplay. I'm Freddy, and I'm joined by Raul. How's it going, everybody? We've got a super spicy CDH gameplay for you all. We're joined by the top of the top deck leaderboard. We've got Ian, aka Comedian, Evan, aka Freedom Waffles, and Temujen, aka Temujen, joining us today for some CDH. We've got Nate, hopefully defending the honor of the channel and bringing the W home. Both Ian and Evan were visiting Colorado for the 5K at Snowy Summit that happened this past July. We got to play some games with them and get to meet them. Really cool guys. Highly recommend them. Both Ian and Evan are CDH coaches. Uh, so if you're wanting to improve your CDH skills, go check them out. I know people that have taken some classes with them or have reserved some time to, you know, improve their skill set with them. And they have definitely uh, shown improvement um, on their skill set. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this game. And by game, I mean... <laughs> Hands and Commander. Hands and Commander. Temujin's going to be playing Nadu, Ian's back on Najila, Nate is going to be representing with Korvold, and Evan is going to be representing Shorika. So Temujin has a pretty good play overall, Gemstone Cavern, a uh, way to just get a, a untapped creature out, Rhystic Study for card draw, Flusterstorm, and Thassasaur. Ian's hand is pretty great, early interaction on turn zero, along with the Mana Crypt, Dockside, a way to get any creature that you need, and a Sylvan Library if you just want to be drawing cards. Nate kept a hand consisting of a way to reanimate and sacrifice Dockside, along with a couple of ways to ramp himself into Korvold early on. Evan kept a hand with the Rhystic Study as well, a little bit of acceleration in terms of the Felwar Stone, and some interaction with Chain of Vapor and Path to Exile. Let's go, Nate. Let's go, Come on, Nate. Nate. You got it, please. <laughs> please, man. Our friends over at Our Lion Games are hosting a 5K tournament November 9th through the 10th. It will be a two-day event. It will be cost $75. We'll leave their information in the description down below. And lastly, if you haven't already, forget to drop a like or a sub or a comment. It really helps the channel. It helps the channel grow. But with that, let's go ahead and jump into the game. Any pre-game actions? I do happen to have a pre-game oh, action. That must be the Nadu. Gemstone Caverns. I will pitch a Thassa's Oracle. Draw for turn. I will play a Mistress Workshop as land for turn. Ooh. I will tap for three colors mana help. and cast a Felwar Stone. Okay. And with the remaining mana, damn, I will cast a mana full and keep. What did I do? Yeah. Uh, nothing. Good <laughs> boy. Uh, I'm sure that My start seems keep. very fair. And then draw. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the turn. It is mine. It is uh, I'm gonna play this Field of the Dead for turn and cast this Findhorn Elves. Oh, that is a very Nadu card. I understand. Yes. I'll pass priority. The field of the dead, not the, not the right. elves in the <laughs> bear. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. I have achieved. I'm going to play this by you for my land for turn. Play a Crypt de Mana. Just like it's 2016, I will play the Sylvan Library. <laughs> oh my god. I will pass the turn. So good. <laughs> I'm scared. He's a threat. Am I? Fire <laughs> <Third> advantage. <laughs> Mission's Workshop. I'm out of confluence. Guess no one's afraid of my field of the dead. Nope. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Zombies. <Woo -hoo. laughs> sure, we'll go Rat of Flame. We'll make two red mana. Mm -hmm. Dash this Ragavan. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Dash Monkey. That Monkey Monkey. <laughs> um, just because you showed me that, let's go over here. Really? Yeah, don't waste it. That seems silly. Uh. Ooh. Make him have it. Ooh, Make him have, have it. to exile your Ragavan? Tight. Yeah, you just ramped him. Clown. <laughs> ZMP basics. <laughs> Do you? I'll pass the turn. Huh? Let's go. I'm going to play a Misty Rainforest. Yes. Fetch. Nice. I will find a Tundra, mm -hmm. and I will tap for four, well, or five, holding one artifact mana, and cast my commander, Short Guy. Wow. Unfortunately, I cannot activate Short Guy. Okay. So I will pass the turn. Uh, Untap. Upkeep, go to draw. I will play this Verdant Catacombs for turn. He said Catacombs. <laughs> I will cast this Rhystic Study. What? I will leave it. What's, yeah. what's that do? I will Stop. pass the turn. <laughs> All right, I'm going to untap, upkeep. I have a trigger. Oh, thank you, Evan. <laughs> you are welcome, Ian. Evens is always damage. And if it's another number, it means it's not damage. Yeah. Wow. Normally, I see two fetches, and I'm like, cool, I put one on top. But I don't have any other land in this hand, so I think I just take eight, cry a bunch. <laughs> That's the saying, right? <laughs> take eight, weep up with me. Take eight, cry that your buddy's so annoying. <laughs> I will take what? eight. And then, unrelated to the notes that I previously made verbally, I'm going to play this fetch land. <laughs> uh, wait, I can't pass me. Thanks. <laughs> Can I cry? I can pass on that. <laughs> yes. nice. uh, off that spawn turn, I'm getting a volcanic island. Oddly appropriate. Yeah, it was just him. Najej. 
Let's go! <laughs> Alright, uh, I pay for your six stage trigger, and now I'm gonna pass turn. Oh, drop a charge. Yes, the soul ring. Mm. Trigger my wrist six study. You can draw a card. Nice. I will do so. Do it. I am good to pass the turn. Okay. Okay. I will untap upkeep. No effects. I'll draw a turn. I'll play this land. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and play my own wrist six study. Here we go with Officer Waffle. Wrist six study. <laughs> you made draw. Pass. Untap. Yeah. Upkeep and uh, snow covered island as land for turn. Mm -hmm. And then? Hey, Rhystic Study will save us. <laughs> my Rhystic Man. I will we'll cast my yeah. commander. And as you see, yes, I, I have did. paid for my Rhystic Study trigger. I will pass the turn. I'm going to untap. And then I'm going to do the whole spiel about evens damage and all that stuff. Ow. Uh, I'll keep one extra card. I reject by playing Ace of Van. That's my land for turn. Uh, with a colorless mana floating. Sure, can I get him? I would like to play. Guys, I'm doing my best here. <laughs> uh, the Stonkside Extortionist. <laughs> I'll do my best to feed him a win. <laughs> All right, we have two triggers. Uh, gentlemen, you may drop. I will pass on Dockside Extortionist. I happen to also be passing when priority happens. Priority is best. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, so count. I see it's one, two, three, four, five, six. I think we're dead. No, no, no. Chill, chill, chill. <laughs> not chill. Uh, I'm mad. Seeing if I can be 3D here. Can you beat a fluster storm? I'm going to pay for your mount. <laughs> play a range captain, I guess. Can be a fluster You drop this. Yeah. I will do my desperate attempt. I will crack. Mm -hmm. Cracked. Crack my verdant. Crack. Catacombs. Yeah. I will get the snow covered forest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will cast this crop rotation. Rhystic study! Um, the full cast of the spell has not been uh, paid, so if you did actually wait uh, to the appropriate time, that'll be. I right. will sack this snow covered forest. Yeah. Yeah. I will pass priority on Rhystic studies. I will find this talon gates of Madar. Ooh, fancy. I will target Najila. I have a feeling it didn't matter. <laughs> No, 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 chill, chill, chill. I will pass priority cool. on Ranger Captain. Yeah, yeah. Ranger Captain. Yeah. Cool. Um, ETB on the stack, I'll pop him. Okay. Wow. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> uh, off Ranger Captain's ETB, I'm going to get a Nomad then, core. What? And then I told you about this deck. No, you said you were cooking. I don't know how long. Hard. Yeah. Well, that's relevant to get rid of one of those things. Yeah. yeah. Actually, it was really relevant because it's like removed four draws. No, it did definitely like matter for some lines. Uh um, Yay. Hey. Well, I was relevant. Go down one treasure, one colorless mana. Uh, image my dockside. It's not gonna matter. Uh, Rhystic Study. Mm -hmm. We're gonna <laughs> die. Ball. In fact, thing. also could be Blister Storm. <laughs> Back in the image. Um, I will put the Cephalid Illusionist on the stack. Trigger Rhystic Study. I will produce a infinite combo here. Basically, uh, I will use Nomad's ability to target Cephalid Illusionist. Uh, Cephalid says whenever it becomes targeted, I mill the top three. I'm gonna mill my entire library by going through this loop. Library mill. Done. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Rock and roll. Uh, the easiest way to do this is just to sack all my three creatures. Sack three as a cost to Dread Return, targeting Thassa's Oracle. Uh, I will pay for your respective triggers. Both of them? Yeah. It's okay. Dang, I will pass on. Yep, seems good. Oh, I'm good. Yeah. ETB? Yes. Good. Yes. GG's, guys. All right. Hey, Jay. Yeah. Doing it like it's 2014. I know <laughs> what the heck.